Well, we start our business news in Zimbabwe, where civil servants are set to down tools for three days in protest against unpaid salaries. Thousands of doctors and teachers have yet to receive their June wages. The government offered a $100 advance, but many rejected this as insufficient. President Robert Mugabe's administration has proposed staggered pay dates, suggesting teachers are paid on the 7th of July, followed by health care workers and pensioners on the 19th. The government is adamant it's committed to paying employees. Well, let's bring you the latest on that story now. I'm joined live from Harare by CCTV's Farai Mokotoya. Uh, Farai, of course, we know those strikes, are the, well, that strike action is due to begin today. What's the very latest on that? Well, Lindy, um, that strike action, as you quite rightly say, is supposed to start today. But I've been to some key government offices this morning. I've been to a few schools in Harare CBD, and it's pretty much business as usual uh, and no disruptions there. Uh, I've spoken to the unions that represent civil servants, and uh, they've said that, you know, they've called on their members to down their tools until they get paid or for the next three days. But clearly those members are yet to heed that call, and we wait to see what will happen during the course of this day and the coming two days. Government, meanwhile, has said that it's still open to negotiation, it's committed to paying uh, and wants to find a diplomatic resolution to this. The union say the time for talk and negotiation is over and so we're waiting to see what happens in the next few days. Lindue. Well, as you say, the civil servants are yet to uh, yield to that call uh, to strike, but we know, of course, right, that there have been other developments uh, coming out of Zimbabwe in recent days, including protests. What are those about? Well, it started uh, last Friday with some protests at the Bitebridge border post. They forced the closure of that border post. And that was cross-border traders uh, uh, protesting a new regulation that restricts imports uh, from neighboring countries. Uh, yesterday, we saw public transport operators protesting what they call too many police roadblocks that are affecting uh, their businesses. And what they started doing from yesterday morning was, uh, you know, stop operating, stop ferrying people. Unfortunately, those protests degenerated during the course of the day uh, and there were skirmishes in some parts of uh, Harare, uh, in particular an area called Epworth uh, where police and residents engaged in some running battles. Police had to use uh, tear gas and water cannons to disperse those protesters. Uh, we understand two police officers were badly injured. Uh, at least 30 people have now been arrested because of that violence uh, and we know that through various social media platforms there are also calls uh, for bigger protests tomorrow and the rest of the week but Police have issued a stern warning uh, to anyone who is engaging in this public violence, engaging uh, in public unrest, that if they're found on the wrong side of the law, then they will face the full wrath of the law. And they've said they're committed to maintaining the peace uh, over the next few days. Well, we mm -hmm. understand that uh, Bay Bridge border post was closed at some point. What's the latest on that? And are South African authorities getting involved uh, in keeping the calm in the area? Well, the Bitebridge border post has since reopened. It is business as usual. Uh, there, there is maintained, obviously, a big security presence there. But revenue authority officials say it's back to business as usual. Uh, the minister responsible has said that it's business as usual. He said he's engaged his counterparts in South Africa to uh, help maintain the peace. But certainly, uh, in terms of business and diplomatic relations between the two countries, no issues there. Uh, and uh, more cru crucially, uh, there's no going back on that new statutory instrument. Those requirements and those regulations that limit uh, imports remain in place. But crucially, business as usual back at that border post. All right. Thanks very much, Farai Makutuya, with that update on developments coming out of Harare, Zimbabwe. Thank you.